Hello everyone, this is uh, Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and I wanted to talk to you all about some of the thoughts I have about fitness and bodybuilding um, and my words of encouragement. You know, my gym here, I have plenty of old school photos of various different bodybuilders. Of course, I read a lot. And then just going through social media, you see all these people with fantastic physiques that look a certain way. And it's very easy to compare yourself to any number of uh, different people and think, you know, how can I achieve this physique? How can I look this certain way? And that's sort of the evil within bodybuilding is, is the truth of the matter is these people are champions and famous and well-known and well-regarded for various different reasons. And occasionally there are uh, individuals who don't have necessarily the same genetics, the same potential to become an amazing bodybuilder, to look a certain way. Speaking for myself, I have trained for over 10 years. And what has kept me in this game longer than anything is realizing that I will never look like Larry Scott, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Vince Gironda, and that's okay. You know, bodybuilding is so much more than that. And thinking about it, it is an idea of keeping yourself accountable in many different avenues. Um, keeping yourself accountable in diet, your workouts, how often you um, do various different exercises, your sleep schedule, your training schedule. All of that is what is encompassed in fitness and bodybuilding and exercise. And to be sustainable is to find what you love about this sport or about exercise and fitness and follow that and make that your uh, prerogative. I've met a lot of people doing uh, what I'm doing, a lot of good people. And I often ask, what has kept you uh, into fitness? And they don't ever tell me, you know, chasing a dream, chasing the idea to look like Larry Scott or Arnold Schwarzenegger. That's not what they say. What they often say is, they wanted to better themselves. They wanted to be the best version of themselves. And I've always said that the most important thing with fitness and exercise is to become the best version of yourself, to beat yourself every day. The only photograph you should look at on your phone or in pictures, as far as a comparison to your own self, is you, the, the past version of you. You know, the, the photographs I he have here in my walls, instead of comparing myself physique-wise in my mind, which would be very discouraging because I don't look like them, instead I think, thank you for teaching me how to improve myself. Thank you for teaching me how to be a better version of me. Thank you for inspiring me to work on becoming the best version of myself that I can be. And... That I think is most important. Bodybuilding and fitness for me has held me accountable in my life, has given me a purpose. Uh, it has been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. I am still very fit and I have maintained becoming strong. I've been training for over 10 years and I've seen the landscape grow and change for better and for worse. I think uh, the better part of it we all have access to so much information, which can be a blessing, but it can also be a curse. You have so many people telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do, but you need to find why you do this. You need to find why you were inspired to be fit and exercise. I can tell you any number of different things that could inspire you to be the best version of yourself. But the truth is that you have to find that. I can't find that for you. And I think that's really important. And I think that is something that is sorely missed in a lot of the fitness scene nowadays. And that's really unfortunate. So go out there, you know, lift some weights, enjoy old school bodybuilding or new school bodybuilding and find what you love about it. If you can't look a certain way, and I would suggest not even looking at a physique to aspire to be them or to surpass them. Instead, learn from them. Learn from their physique, learn from their fitness journey, 
learn from their exercises, learn from their diet, and use your mind to improve yourself. And that, I think, is the most important thing with fitness. This is just my, my tips going into 2024 and how I feel about this. I think it's going to be a wonderful year, a fantastic year, and I think all of us will grow and improve, and hopefully uh, we all can be better people going into the next year and beyond. But that's all I have for you today. Those are my little uh, my tips and words of encouragement. I hope you can take something from this video. Um, these are just some, a little bit of inspiration uh, from my friend Josh, that uh, who I talked to earlier. Uh, we were just speaking about various different things and kind of at a heart-to-heart -heart moment. And I realized, you know, that not everybody feels the way I do, uh, and that's a shame. You know, if anything you take away from this video, just remember to always be the best version of you you can be. And don't compare yourself too hard to others because you'll never be them, both physically and uh, mentally in many ways. You are your own person and you need to find yourself. But that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Till next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.